In 2016, our next guest sold the cosmetics company that she created in her living room to L'Oreal for $1.2 billion, becoming the first female CEO for that company in over 100 years. Her first, her first book is called Believe It, How to Go from Underestimated to Unstoppable is on sale now. Please welcome Jamie Kern Lima. Elaine, hello, hello, hello. Hi, Jamie. Jamie, uh, you are incredible. You and I are texting buddies, but we're kind of like meeting for the first time, even though we've texted back and forth. But it's so, your story is amazing. So you're the founder of It Cosmetics, which I know everybody knows what that is. But uh, tell everybody how you started your company. Yeah, I started actually in the middle of a whole season of setback in my life. It was like a big season of self-doubt. Um, which I know a lot of people are struggling with right now, actually. But uh, I was working in what I thought was my dream job. Like my whole life, I wanted to host a talk show like since the time I was a little girl and I was working as a TV news anchor and I got a, a skin condition called rosacea. Uh, and what happened, Ellen, is I'd be live on TV and I'd hear from my producer, like, there's something on your face. You need to wipe it off. You need to wipe it off. And, you know, the, the redness would sort of come through uh, the makeup and, be, and the makeup would be breaking up. And so I went through a really tough season. I started trying to find makeup out there that worked and I realized uh, nothing did. And I had this kind of moment going, wow, if I could figure out how to make makeup that worked for real people with real <laughs> skin challenges, uh, maybe it would help a lot of other people. So uh, what I realized was uh, this sort of season of, of setback that I was going through was actually a setup for what I was supposed to do. Um, and I took a big, big risk, went with my gut, launched the business in my living room had no idea how hard it was gonna be. Um, they're used to the living room right there. Um, went through three years, Ellen, of uh, all of the beauty retailers saying no after no after no. And it was really like a, a three year journey of rejection and kind of trying to figure out how to believe in myself when uh, no one else did. Um, that's really why I wrote this book. Cause I think, I think we all can go from not believing ourselves to believing it's, ourselves. It and, it really is. It's such an inspirational book. And, you know, especially for someone starting out in anything, but especially business. But, I mean, you had someone really to your face say, no, this is never going to work. No one's going to buy makeup from someone who looks like you, um, which is yeah. unbelievable. And it's just such sweet revenge to sell your company for $1.2 billion mm -hmm. when someone's saying, you'll never make it. You'll never work. When people ask you for advice, which I'm sure happens all the time, um, what's the most important bit of advice? I think the most important thing is to learn to literally break yourself out and hear your own gut. Like I think, Ellen, we all have a knowing inside of us. And I think that especially for women, so many women, uh, we ask everyone else their opinion and, and we don't ever learn to listen to our gut and to trust ourselves. And the, the story you just mentioned, yeah, I mean, we were down, I was down to under a thousand dollars left. I didn't know how I was going to make it in my business. And it was, a, it was a potential investor. And I thought, oh my gosh, if they invest in us, this is going to be life changing. And we did all these meetings. It got to the final meeting and he looked at me and he said, I, I love your product. I believe in it, but uh, we're going to pass on investing investing in your company. I just don't think women will buy makeup from someone who looks like you with your body and your weight. And I remember, Ellen, there was this moment where, I mean, listen, I went in my car and cried afterwards, but in that moment, I had this feeling in my gut that said, he's wrong. Like I just had this feeling. And six years later, uh, the day L'Oreal bought our, our company for over a billion dollars, um, I actually heard from him for the first time in six years. And he said, uh, congratulations, I was wrong. Um, and uh, I learned it would have actually been the most successful investment in this whole company's history had he believed in me. But there's a famous saying, Ellen, uh, and anyone going through a season of rejection or having someone tell them they're not enough right now, the famous saying, uh, rejection is God's protection or rejection is the universe's protection, right? Like had he invested in me back then, Ellen, I was so desperate. I had no money and I probably would have given him most of the company for like almost nothing, but because he didn't believe in me by the time L'Oreal bought it cosmetics, I was still the largest shareholder. <laughs> so I was like, thank God he didn't believe in me. Right. So I just think that, um, a lot of us are in just times where we're feeling rejected right now. And I don't know, I think this book is really all about how to ignite that light again and, and go from not believing in yourself to believing in yourself. And by the way, I'm donating a hundred percent of the proceeds of the book, um, to feeding America and together rising and so inspired by not just Matt, who you just had on and 
I don't even know if I can do this, but I want to do this because this is the Ellen show. And I know that you just, uh, I think the Shutterfly donated $20,000 to what he's doing. I want to add to that and donate another $20,000. So oh, Jamie, that's it. fantastic. I think that's amazing. Jamie, yeah, thank you so, so much. You, you are really an incredible person. And like I said, we've texted back and forth because you're so inspiring and so generous. Um, and you gave me a, an advanced copy before this came out. And I, I, I said, I want you on the show for this because I think it's such an important book for so many people, starting out in business, especially women. And like you said, women are always saying, you know, what do you think? What do you think? Instead of paying attention to your gut. So good for you. I am so happy for you. And you can get Jamie's book, Believe It, uh, How to Go from un Underestimated to Unstoppable, everywhere books are sold. It's, uh, it's very inspirational. Uh, great seeing you, Jamie. Great to see you, too. Thank you so much, Ellen. All right. We'll be back.